Right. So, uh, first of all, look in your top left there. The siege is over. We still have some trolls lingering, but the siege is over. They are leaving the map, which is very frustrating because I was moments away from calling it good and bringing my plan into action. Let me, let me show you what I did. Here's the bunker. It's very crude, but we have some dormitories, some little mini dining rooms, and a lever that seals it. Down here, we've secured the cavern. We've well deforested this. And if we go down, you can see that I haven't trapped the entire fort, but I have uh, drastically expanded the number of traps that are present in the fortress. And I decided I was done, so I was going to let them in, and my plan was, once I let them in, you know, I was going to put all the dwarves down here in the bunker, and then I was going to let them in, and my assumption is that they would fan out once they got to the tavern level, we would catch a bunch of them, and they would leave. But they seem to be leaving anyway. We got elk birds. So I guess all that's left is to have our now uh, five militia squads stack up here we'll open open the drawbridges and have them clean up what's left because for some reason there are some trolls hanging around in here they smashed everything everything i'm very annoyed but it's fine it's fine we're gonna give them a minute to get up there built new mechanics workshops, designated a whole lot of mechanisms and cages built. But it doesn't matter. It's fine. Soon though, I will show you what the, um, what all this is going to be for. Why is nobody digging this? Why is nobody digging anything actually? We have several miners in the fort, they're just not doing anything. Okay, that's probably good enough. Uh, go ahead and outer, inner, pull the lever. We have a grotesque number of cage traps in this entryway now. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, K, R. All these trolls. Go get them, lads! Look at them go. We're going to get a fight out of this. Into the manager's office. Battle is joined. Blood and teeth flying everywhere. The dwarves continue to pile in. Probably a log jam in the doorway there. I assume we're winning. A little hard to tell. I see trolls dying. I see at least a couple of dead dwarves. As long as none of them are Logum, we're fine. And we're done. Let's see who we lost. We did not lose Logum. We did lose one of his dwarves, though. So we'll slot in this farmer. Canic. Okay, we only lost two. Fabulous. Okay, that's all done. Now then, we need to, uh... We need to refurnish all of these. I'm committed to having these outside. We need more hives, don't we? Oh well, maybe not. Okay, um, how did I have this set out before? Alt age is slightly awkward for me to hit. Nope, I did this incorrectly. This is the wrong way to do this. Yeah, okay, so we're going to start this by, uh, 
by rebuilding all of our hives. That's the first thing we're going to do in this half of the video. Mess up my beekeeping operation. We, we do need one more hive. Actually, fellas, don't bother with that. We have a new farm down here. Also, very important, we have, where are they? Nope, Raven, Buzz, Buzzard, oh, for crying out loud. We have tame, tame buzzard hatchlings. We have officially tamed buzzards. Very exciting, I know. Also, there were enemies down in the cavern, as you might expect. We really wiped this place out. Oh, and Graverson found dead. I'm gonna guess that was the result of battle injuries and not getting taken to a hospital quickly enough. Well, slot the next one, keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and use DF hack to clean up all the blood real quick. I don't know if we should count that as a win or not. It doesn't feel like a win. It, it feels like uh, they gave up and went away. Uh, so we're also not gonna bother moving the... Oh, the, the only thing they did not break down was that Yakbone throne. We're not gonna bother moving the manager's office back here. We're just going to, um, if I can figure out where I put it. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> this is now the Farmer's Guild Hall. <laughs> Which suits me fine. Oh, I, forget, I forget what this lever is keyed to. Um, not the bunker, right. It's keyed to the uh, cavern bridge. I'm very annoyed that I didn't get to do what I was planning to do there. Oh, but on the bright side, if I can find our prison level. Need a door over here. Okay, we need another door apparently. This is going to be cage storage for all the captives. As you can see, I built a lot of extra cages, which we now have to store in here. I'll show you what we're doing with these in a little while. If anyone ever digs out this. This is gonna take a minute. I probably shouldn't make you watch this. So I think at this point, it seems pretty obvious that we need to make a counter-strike against the goblins. They are causing us too many problems to continue ignoring. Okay, well, let's get started with that. So, we still have skirts ruled over here, and I think, um, I think it would be a really good idea. Is good the word we want to use? It's an idea to um, raid this. And in fact, we're gonna go with the raise option. And then we're gonna assign squads. We're gonna assign all five of our squads and away they go. We're also gonna move all the dogs back outside. I don't know why I bother moving them out here if I'm just gonna bring them back in whenever there's a siege. Oops. Uh, we 
actually want puppies out here as well. Yet yeah, poopies. Where are you? Tomb? You're putting that in a tomb, right? Okay. I get nervous when I see the dwarves carrying corpses, alright? I don't feel like that's unreasonable. The sooner we get them in here, the sooner we can strip them for parts. place is turning into a goblinite mine at this rate. It's summer now. It took a few months for all that to happen. I'm very annoyed that... I, actually, what happened was I unpaused the game because I was ready to... Why... Wishes to reside... Stasos fail hate... You're a goblin, ain't you? Yeah? Deny. Um, I was... I had unpaused the game and started the recording and I said... And I was about to say, all right, let's execute my clever plan and then they walked away. It was seconds after I unpaused. I spent like an hour setting this up. <laughs> Are they gone yet? No. Oh, we're waiting on Logan. He's not, like, wounded, is he? No, he's just picking up equipment. Which takes a while, especially once they start getting hungry and thirsty and have to backtrack to find food and booze. Well, see, alcoholic dwarves. I should probably put more storage in the barracks. Actually, you know what I should do is come down here and install some cage traps. I want this to finish digging and lumbering. What are you doing? You're Storing something in a stockpile. Could you leave, please? Could you leave? What do you mean you were unable to finish it? Go ahead, just just put the door in the door hole. There we go. Got the hives back in place. Something else I want is a bridge here. Made of, sure, just loose gabbro. That'll get that job done. Down here. Put that door in place. It's not in stockpile yet. Patient is not resting, which means that they are not able to get on a traction bench. Did we ever build a traction bench? No. Oops, nope. Um, didn't build like five of them. Yes, we did, but it's up here. We're just going to build that in front of our wounded dwarf. Okay, you know what? We don't actually need this hospital anymore. Go ahead and break it all down. Including the bed the patient's in. Are those seeds on the floor? Yep, those are blueberry seeds. The mayor made a mandate? I missed that. How we doing, gang? Are we underway? Waiting for id over here. Who is drinking? See, this is what I was talking about. They get distracted by their bodily functions. They never get on the road. No available traction bench. Don't worry, we're taking care of it. 
except I ordered the traction bench in our existing hospital deconstructed because I'm a genius. <laughs> oh boy. Interrupted by Elkbird. Well, you're going to have to deal with that. Okay, we're turning off job cancellations until the militia gets back. Y'all are just going to have to deal. Oh, see? That dwarf is shooting that elk bird. Are you hunting? You are. Okay. Our um, legendary crutch walker over here. <laughs> That's it? That's your legendary skill? Yep, legendary crutch walker. I'm so sorry. And dead. You're gonna return that kill, right? Yeah, you are. Good man, good man. Udib, fountain released. Art is life. He didn't feel anything after seeing an elk bird die. Dem dwarfs, man. Dem dwarfs. Where are you going? You're picking up equipment! <laughs> it's gonna take a year for the militia to get out of the fort! Prison complex not being built. I think things are running a little slowly right now. Hard to say why. Possibly just because it's Dwarf Fortress and the game tends to run a little slow. On the bright side, we are just about out of prisoners to install. Is that everybody? Fabulous. <laughs> we got a lot of Bloodthorn wood around the fortress now. Can we install this door yet? Do we have the door? We don't have the door! Apparently we're stockpiling things. What are you doing? Picking up equipment. Go, go, go. We do have beds. Ooh, bloodthorn beds. Are those nice? Do we like those? Let's see, do we still have armor and weapon stands? We got three. At some point I'll install those in the bedrooms as well, just to make them a little nicer. Help keep the dwarves happy. I think everybody will also get a table and chair. Really class up the joint. But for right now, all I want... Yeah, we just keep re-electing Urvad. All I want is for the dwarves to leave and go do the attack. What was it this time? Pecan wood door? Why not? Okay, well, we got that now. Schist. A fine rock. Fine enough. Why are the miners not mining? Everything's happening except the things I actually want to be happening. You know what? Let's undesignate all this plant gathering. Let's see if that makes a difference. I think that did speed up the game a little bit. Somebody must have been having a pathing issue. Funny how that works. You are now going to pick up equipment, and we're going to follow you while you do it. I want to see where you actually go, Bomrek the Spear Dwarf. Down, down, down. There goes that hunter with the elk bird, past him on the staircase. Still going down. Oh, oh. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going into a bedroom. 
going into this bedroom. What could we possibly be after? That sheep wool cloak. You're after a sheep wool cloak, aren't you? Raise skirts ruled. Okay. Do you have a sheep wool cloak in your inventory? You sure do. You're wearing it on your upper body, you crazy dwarf. We're going to watch you walk out of here now just to make sure you do it. And if you get distracted, I'm kicking you out of the squad. Going upstairs. A lot of bloodthorn wood in the woodworking level now. We're so close. We're so close. We're on the roof. Look at all them cages. Please, please, please install those cages. Looks like that's what they're doing. We're going to perpetrate an atrocity, both in the fort and once we get to skirt ruled. Skirts ruled, pardon me. The skirts is plural, obviously. What kind of stupid name would skirt ruled be? One skirt? Come on. And we are out of here. Anybody else? Id the Axe Dwarf. Zuthan the Spear Dwarf. And Moral the Militia Captain. That irritates me. Id the Axe Dwarf is drinking. Okay, watch those goblins. Watch them. Visitors do tend to steal things. Is he actually just drinking? Is he stuck? Watch him for a minute. No, we are on the move. Um, migrants have arrived. Our population currently looks much worse than it actually is. I need to make sure the dwarves know to collect ammo. What am I looking for? Forbid? There we go. Claim used ammunition. Claim you're dead. Good. Okay. Good, we're starting to get the prisoner cages installed. We got cabinets. We're starting to get coffers. And you know what? We should secure the guest cabins as well. That's what we'll call them, guest cabins. Oh, you know what? We could even install a few more right here. That's not a bad idea, Birdman. Extended silence. How we doing? Still waiting for Ed. Oh wait, we lost somebody. Who died? Why would you do that? Don't die. There's work to do. Is your leg busted? Oh, you're you're not okay. Out of the squad. Who else we're we waiting on? Uh, that was probably one of the dwarves we were waiting on, who's now dead. Let's check in with Moral, the Militia Captain. Who is also drinking and is much less wounded. You know what, we're just going to uh, full heal. Okay, and we're, we're drinking. Really? Your injuries stopped you from drinking? You weren't that badly hurt, man. Mayor has mandated the construction of certain... Stork pile! Get to work! Mind, this is one of our conscripts. So uh, this guy does not want to be doing this. Okay, now we're picking up equipment. 
Now that we've delivered the rest of the equipment, we have to pick up our equipment that we will actually be using. You're malingering. This is malingering. I, I should lock you in with the goblins. That's what you deserve. Oh, we have to go all the way down now, huh? Where are you going? Are you going to pick something up from the caverns? Yep, and now we're leaving. You're the last one, right? Come on, go. Yes, fine. Just get out of here. Okay. Is there anyone else? Traveling. Right, except for the guy I kicked out. Traveling. 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 We're there. We're there. We did it. Okay. That shouldn't take... Mm, we need to take care of something real quick here. Dump everything that's not part of a dwarf. As far as we can tell from here. I do think it's funny that the goblins and trolls share names with um, legendary beasts. Like, we've encountered a lot of goblins named Snang. And, of course, Snang Suck Tusks was a feature of... Was that Slaughter Chop? I think that was Slaughter Chop. So I'm going to choose to believe that the goblins are naming themselves after Snang Suck Tusks. those. We don't want the feet or the ears. We want skulls. Um, these are no good to us. <laughs> Look at all the teeth. Knocked out an entire mouth worth of teeth there. Alright, that's good enough for now. Good. Okay. That's the guest rooms furnished. I'm going to install an extra lever to secure the courtyard. So what we need to do now... One, two, three... Let's do like this. That actually worked out perfectly. Cool, that's another four rooms. And only slightly smaller. Oh, you know what? As long as I'm doing this, let's dump corpses. I'm less concerned with the individual body parts than I am with all of these... Where is this white stork man skeleton? There was a white stork man on the map at some point? I feel like there are too many corpses on the map. Like, I know that's a weird thing to say, but every time I come in here, I'm surprised by the number of partial skeletons that I find waiting to be dumped. Get them out of here. Are they reclaiming? Skeletons that are already in those might get butchered. Are they reclaiming skeletons that are already in the pile? 
That would be very annoying. Ooh, look at that. The Bloodthorn beds are red. I like that. I like that a lot. How many beds do we still have? Plenty. I would really like to finish getting this dug out, but the miners don't seem too inclined to dig. Oh, hey, they're back. Oh, let's have a look at this. Chains, yeah, sure. Another silver chain, do it. Okay, we got spoils. That's a real good sign. Let's read the report. Okay, they went out. Stasost Hell Blockades led the defense. We were momentarily outmatched, but then we killed their leader. Who must have been the only one left in the place. Which makes our earlier expedition, where we got run out of town without looting anything, really, really pathetic. Let's check the spoils report. We got some crafts, some clothing. Uh, nothing really excellent. We got a musical instrument. We got a cage. Oh, we got, we got a handful of musical instruments. Okay, I'm happy with that. The point is, we finally burnt Skirts World to the ground. Yeah, victory. Play the victory music. Play it now. Yeah, that's the stuff. <sighs> okay, we actually did a thing. Gradually getting the uh, prison layer filled out here. I'm disappointed by the number of captives we have. I would like to have more. But that's going to have. Uh, dealing with them is going to have to wait because I want to do something particular. We still need another rock door. Oh, hey, they did, in fact, trash our depot. Okay. Go ahead and rebuild that. Rebuild it out of bloodthorn logs. Yes. Yes, indeed. I want them to see that we've conquered the caverns as well. Whoever they ends up being. It's summer right now, so it could be humans. There's a human settlement right there. Oh, with fewer than ten people in it. I have an idea. We are going to demand ongoing tribute. I need to actually send a squad out on that. Uh, go ahead and remove that mission. Assign squad. We can't. Okay, well, we'll wait on that then. We'll just go ahead and add them to our territory. Maybe we'll demand their surrender and occupy. Hey, we have traction benches. You need a traction bench. We have a medical dwarf, right? No, we don't. Our medical dwarf died again. Fine, it's Uvash now. Congratulations, Uvash, you've just been promoted. I wonder if I accidentally assigned our medical dwarf as a militia dwarf again. Nothing's happening. Nothing's getting done. But it's fine. Sure wish visitors staying in our hotel rooms had to pay rent. There are dogs all over the courtyard. As is traditional. Okay, let's get cute here. And just, let's see, we can't put them there. We need more mechanisms. Always more mechanisms. We're just going to slap some down semi-randomly. <laughs> we'll dump all their gear. 
and then we'll redistribute it for our purposes. That's what I call redistribution of wealth. All right, that's going to do it for today. Good, we finished that silver chain. All right. Well, folks, as we watch these cages get installed, I'll do my little outro. As always, thanks for watching, folks. Thanks to those of you who are subscribed to the channel. Thanks to those of you who have not yet subscribed to the channel. Thanks to those of you who are watching this without ever intending to subscribe to the channel, because you count too. Every view counts. Every dwarf counts, like this child who's having a mood. We'll take a look at that as I finish doing this. He's shells and bars, wants to become a legendary bone carver, but not really. We don't have shells, that's going to be a problem. So that dwarf's going to go crazy, and that's just something we have to deal with. Moving on, if you haven't checked out my horror content yet, that is the reason the channel exists in the first place, so I think you should give it a look. Uh, we've just started a run on Alan Wake, and as we're entering the Christmas season, we will be starting the suicide of Rachel Foster, so keep an eye out for that. Or not, if horror is not your thing, don't check it out. It's whatever, man. It's up to you. It's your content to view. In any case, it'll be getting advertised in the upper right corner of your screen at some point here. Give it a look or not. I'll see you folks again next week. And until then, Birdman out. <laughs>